hi, my daughter going to Costa Rica and I'm dropping her off. Crazy girl. Here she is. Going. Look at her going. Here she goes. Bye, I'm gonna give her a hug now. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love you. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Port Flight 1931, with service to Charlotte. This is a full flight. Please only place your larger items in the overhead compartment. Stay in the space that I need to see. For your smaller items, so we will be able to accommodate all the passengers. If you have a coat, if you could please place it on top of luggage and not in the overhead by itself. Well, I I think that it is. Uh a matter of saving our own souls, that this is the real challenge. You know, I love to dig at the yogins by saying nobody ever went into an ashram with their knees knocking in fear over the tremendous dimension they know they were about to enter through meditation. Still truer and more sad, still more true and more sad, is the notion that very few of us pick up our sculpting tools or our airbrush with our knees knocking with fear because we know we are invoking and acting with the muse at our elbow. And somehow I think the artists need to recover this sense of uh, mystery. One of the most depressing things to me about the art scene, and I had a chance to reconnect with this because I was just in New York, is uh, it now has a kind of directionless quality. You can go into a gallery and you cannot tell whether it is 1990, 1980, 1970, or 1960, because a kind of eschatological malaise has settled over art. All notion of any forward movement toward a transcendental ideal has been put aside for um, the exploration of idiosyncratic vision. And I grant you, this is a, 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 a tension, and perhaps in the questioning period we can talk about this, there is a tension between the individual vision and uh, the notion of an attractor or, or a, a collective vision which wants to be expressed. But to my mind, this is the same dichotomous tension that haunts the individual in his or her relationship to Tao. You know, we don't want to be lost in ego, but on the other hand, if we completely express the Tao, we have no sense of self. The ideal seems to be a kind of coincidentia positorum, a kind of literalizing of a paradox, where what we have is Tao, but we perceive it as ego. And in the application of this notion to the art problem, I would say what we need is a situation where schooling, if you want to put it that way, or a tendency toward a coherent vision expressed by many artists is spontaneous. Each artist imagines that they are pursuing their own vision, yet obviously, they are in the grip of an archetype which is rising through the medium of the unconscious.
wonderful. all the way to Costa Rica to find this in the bathroom. And that was uh, a company um, paper plant that was like, I don't know, in my childhood hometown. I think it's pretty funny. So I made it to Costa Rica. Um, yeah, what an experience. I've never been out of uh, the United States or Canada before. I've certainly never been in a country where uh, English was not the predominant language. So it's been pretty interesting, to say the least. Um, what else? Uh, I feel so centered right now, like really grounded and um, almost like I, I don't feel like making any videos actually. But uh, here's a video. <laughs> I'm documenting this entire trip. But um, yeah, I just uh, it feels so good to be, I don't know, to travel with yourself. I've been meeting some really phenomenal people as well, which is been interesting. I apparently have a roomie too. I don't know where they are. I think some flights have been delayed, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow we leave. Uh, at like 7.30 to go fly um, into another like little town and then take a boat from that town uh, to where our final destination. And I just uh, was reading some of my information package learning that there's howler monkeys out about in the, where I'll be staying. And I don't know, but I am the biggest fan of howler monkeys, like absolute love them. So I am just smitten with that knowledge that I'm about to experience that. And I think it's actually on my like bajillion list of things to do. But uh, anyway, we're going to cut that short. I had a delicious dinner and the people here are so wonderful. And it's just amazing to be surrounded by this such a different atmosphere. And there's a volcano that's like, I don't know, half an hour or an hour away. All right, that's all for now. See you later. Wow. Once about 10 years ago, I remember sort of coming in over the boat yeah. and sort of spread out through this. Yeah.